Hello, everyone. This is Byron King with Investor Intel. And this morning, or today, we are going to speak with uh, Maritz Smith, who is the CEO of Alphaman, uh, Alphaman Resources. Uh, Alphaman is in the tin business. You've heard of tin cans and hot tin roofs, but uh, it's much more than that. Um, uh, Maritz is in Johannesburg, South Africa, because his project is uh, in, in the Congo. Uh, Maritz, good morning. It is uh, great to be with you. It's, at least it's morning here. It's afternoon where you are, I suppose. Uh, Maritz, give, a, give, give our viewers just a, a real quick minute or two summary of, of where are you operating and what is, what is your position in the tin market? Thank you, Byron. So Elfman Resources is all about tin. Um, you know, we really, we really believe we're in the right commodity. Tin in the main is, is used as, as solder, which is the glue that holds our technology world together. And, and, and we love commodities that, that benefit from technological advances and certainly the technological revolution. So, so it's a very healthy commodity to be in. Um, the Elfman mine is based in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We commissioned this tin mine in mid 2019, and we already produce 4% of the world's mine tin. But it doesn't stop there for us. You know, we, we on the back of the success of the Mpama North mine, we are allocating quite a significant amount of capital to further exploration drilling. We believe that we are, are the owners of a very prospective uh, tin license area. Um, and we are looking to increase and grow our resource base quite substantially going forward. And then in parallel to that, um, as you would have seen in the news yesterday, we declared a maiden resource on the adjacent Mpama South deposit. And that for us um, unlocks the potential to expand our production in the very near future. So you are a primary tin miner, as in hard rock and not tin Correct. mineral sands from a riverbank or something like that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we, we mine primary hard rock um, tin ore from our underground mine. Our, our head grade is by far the highest globally at, at 4% um, at Mpama North. Um, and, and through underground mining, our ore is being treated then through our, our processing facility through gravity separation. And we then produce a very high grade 60% tin concentrate, which we then export to tin smelters in the East. So uh, before we came on air, we were talking and you had mentioned that the, the annual market for tin is in the range of about 380,000 tons per year. And, you, and, and right now tin is selling, you also mentioned for $48,000 a ton. So when I do a little bit of math in my head, we're, we're way up into the uh, you know, 16, 18, $20 billion a year range in terms of how big of a market this is. Is that, is that the, the ballpark scope? That's, that's absolutely right. So relatively speaking to, to, in comparing the tin market to copper, obviously it's a relatively small market, but it is an absolutely critical market and it is a strategic metal. And, and quite sad really that the world hasn't invested in exploration and developing new mines for 40 years now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's why the supply side is constrained. You know, this is a metal that the world needs. Technology cannot exist without it. And um, so, so we are, in our opinion, very well placed to capitalize on the fundamentals of the supply and demand side. Um, often, um, as I said earlier, we already produce 4% of the world's tin. And with the adjacent Palma South deposit and, and having completed a preliminary economic assessment on that, we would like to increase our production um, in the not too distant future and, and become a 6 7% uh, producer um, in the next two to three years. Thereafter, with our investment in exploration, we are optimistic that we will find the, the third, fourth, and hopefully, hopefully fifth mine um, on our exploration area, area over a, a strike distance of eight kilometers and, and in the medium to longer term, hopefully add more production to the world's um, constrained supply situation. Well, for the last two years, we've heard nothing but you know shortages of electronics, shortages of chips, what have you, what have you. So 
So right away, you know, since tin as solder is literally the, the proverbial glue that holds the little circuit boards and components together, I mean, uh, you, you know, there, there's already a problem with, you know, in producing enough electronics. If we produce more, we need more tin. Uh, and, and that leads to sort of uh, the next the next question, you, you, if, if you've got 4% of the world's market right now, and it's a growing market, and you're looking towards uh, double, you know, taking it up to 7 and 8%, so, so there's upside room for growth for your company and for your share price, I would consider, yes? Can't argue with your logic. Um, <laughs> um, you know, all we are focusing on is to, to continue with the steady production from our current mine, allocate um, internally generated cash flows to growth, and deliver um, on the envisaged growth path. You know, we our vision is to become one of the world's largest low-cost tin producers, and mm -hmm. and I think Alfman is becoming increasingly important um, um, in terms of its potential supply into the tin market. You know, as I said earlier, it is a strategic metal, and technology cannot exist without tin. Certainly, the cost of tin, whether it doubles and trebles from, from, from this level is irrelevant to the cost of, of an electronic device or a circuit board. It is irrelevant. So really, I think going forward with semiconductor and chip um, production increasing priority, in our opinion, will be given um, um, to sourcing tin for, for circuit boards. And it's going to be a question of, of price, which, as I said earlier, is irre irrelevant to the cost of technology. Well, your your grade is your ore grade is very high, and so the old expression, you know, grade is king. So, so your cost structure, I take it, is uh, is is attractive in terms of where you operate and, and are, are, are you making money? Let's let's just boil it down to that. Well, absolutely. Um, you know, if you if you look at our, our quarter four audited results, which we released yesterday. Um, we generated EBITDA profits of $74 million for the quarter. Um, and the tin price we averaged was $38,000 a ton. I see today the tin price is at $48,000 a ton. So certainly we don't have control over the tin price, but we are, we are focused on, on steady production and maximizing tin volume sales and keeping ourselves on, on this growth trajectory going forward. Uh, Maritz, is there, a, is there a last point that you'd like to leave the viewers with? You know, just in summary, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those classic examples where a strategic metal hasn't seen significant investment in exploration development. Um, the Alfman mine is the first major tin mine that's been developed in 40 years. Um, you know, and that's what why we are where we are in terms of supply side constraints at the moment. Um, and, and this company, we believe, is well set to, to grow in the, in the medium term and to play a key role in reducing the, the deficit in, in this all-important tin market going forward. Well, thank you so much, uh, viewers out there. The name is Alpha Min Resources, TSX Venture, U.S. So over-the-counter uh, markets. Uh, if you are a tech investor, this is the glue that holds your tech investments together. If you are a resources investor, this is, uh, this is one of those exotic metals that there's just not enough of it, um, high prices and, uh, uh, and scarcity. So uh, uh, do, your own, do your own thinking and move ahead. Thank you so much, Maritz, and we wish you well, you and your company. Thank you, Byron.